Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to do a quick video today about whether or not you should learn coding to reskin apps. Uh, I've had quite a few people ask me about how I reskin my templates and some people have been questioning like how you can make money if a template costs $500 and you only sell it to like for like a uh, 500 something. So I wanted to clear that up. Um, so really some of my templates I did not purchase from Chupa Mobile or any other reskinning like, template kind of site. I actually created them myself. Um, so what that involves is coding in Xcode and creating your own app and then just uh, reskinning that multiple times to make money. Um, this is cheaper, of course, than buying a template on Chupa Mobile, so you can get some better profit margins with your apps. Um, this isn't for everyone. Uh, if you really don't want to learn to code, don't want to have to spend too much time, I would just stick to purchasing templates from Chupa Mobile. Although this doesn't make as much money, uh, you still can definitely make a lot of money with this method. And uh, it might just take you a couple of more times selling the app to recoup the money spent, um, as opposed to using your own time to create a template for free and selling that. So uh, let's get down into it then. So should you learn to code? Let's start with the positive uh, aspects of learning to code. And of course, the number one is more money. Um, if you code your own apps, you're going to make more money from the app. Uh, because a lot of people do know about Chupa Mobile and those types of sites. And if they see a template like that, they're not going to spend as much money on it. When you create your own template, nobody else has it, so it's totally unique. So that increases the value. Um, so if you want to earn more for your app, if you really want to get into those prices, to like from 500 to 1,000 and more than that, um, creating your own templates is really a good idea, and uh, you might want to look into that. Uh, another positive is spending less on templates. For more advanced templates, you can spend $200 or more. And if you don't want to spend this type of money, um, I would really advise learning how to code because that can really decrease your costs. Of course, it'll take more time, but uh, there's always some uh, handoffs. So another really great aspect of learning how to code is the freelancing part. A lot of times when someone buys one of my apps from Flippa, they also ask me to do extra work, put on some updates or create a new app for them. And this can help you make a lot more money. Uh, just like the past month, I've had at least five different freelancing uh, projects come up through Flippa. And this helps you make a lot more money uh, aside from your templates. Since creating templates doesn't really take that much time, you can spend the rest of your time doing freelancing projects and making connections with other people to increase your revenue. Uh, that's probably what I would say is my biggest pro for learning how to code, because you can work for anyone, you can create anything eventually, and this allows you to make a lot of money just from freelancing projects. Like probably this February, more of, my, more of my money will come from uh, freelancing projects than reskinning apps because of the relationships I've built with people I've sold apps to. Um, so eventually, if you have a long-term goal making apps, uh, learning how to code will help you a lot. Finally, coding's not only used for reskinning apps, uh, there are a lot of opportunities if you learn to code, and uh, those opportunities can be used or can be from school or a job. Uh, computer science is really popular right now, so there's a lot of people that want to go to school for computer science. So if you're thinking about going to college or something, uh, learning to code can be a great thing and give you a head start. And it can also get you a good job. There's a lot of mobile development jobs or uh, website development jobs out there and they pay pretty good money and if you practice coding with the reskins or with your own personal projects 
that can help uh, lead to getting you a position somewhere if that's your type of thing. But of course, learning to code takes some time. It doesn't take as long as many people would think. Uh, I started to code using Swift, which is the programming language for iOS apps uh, in 2016 in the spring. And uh, right now it's the beginning of 2018 and I'm able to make most types of apps for people. So in less than two years, I was able to uh, get through that hurdle. Really in like a month, you should be able to make a lot of basic stuff. And uh, within the first few months, I was already able to make e-commerce apps and that type of thing. So it really doesn't take as long as you think if you put in some effort. There's a lot of great resources online and um, most of them are free. There's also some really great paid ones too. And um, it's not as hard to learn coding as you think. But to get to the cons, um, time of course, like I said, is a con. We already went over that. And also if you have a lot of money to spend and you don't wanna take the time, uh, it can be better to just buy a template and just wait it out and recoup your money uh, with a few extra reskins. And finally, another con is if you don't have any interest in computers or in programming or any uh, type of technology thing, then you probably don't want to learn to code because it's going to be very tedious and uh, if you don't enjoy it, it'll be very hard to learn it and to do it well, which you need to do, especially if you want to do freelancing. So if you don't have any interest whatsoever, I would just stick with buying templates and doing small edits like that or hiring someone to do it if you really want to. But uh, in all honesty, I really recommend learning to code if you're interested in reskinning apps because not only will it help you reskin apps more and uh, make more money, it'll open a lot of other opportunities such as freelancing and uh, stuff for your job or for your school. Um, and this can really help a lot. Uh, so I hope this encourages some of you to start learning to program. Um, it can be anything, Java for Android, Swift for iOS. Uh, I'll put down some like beginning links in the description to see if any of you guys want to get started. Um, I would really recommend checking it out because this will increase your revenue potential a lot. Um, I make a lot of money from my apps that I created myself and uh, I frequently reskin them, and that has also led to me getting a lot of freelancing clients. So I would really recommend checking it out. Thanks for watching this video, guys. And uh, leave some comments about what types of videos you guys want to see uh, so I can create some more content for you guys. And uh, thanks for watching this.